you know, the very poor vetting when it came to uh, selecting her. Yeah. But uh, well, she's still attractive. Oh, I know that. And she still says stupid things. But people may well, be that's... tired. Maybe people are just getting tired of her a little bit. I don't know. Actually, no, because she's been out of public, the public eye for a certain, you know, a few, few years at least. Yeah. You know, Fox Fox uh, let her go at least uh, two to three years ago. So the bottom line is, you know, she hasn't really had a public platform before. She's got a blog, but except for people in in Alaska, I don't know who, you know, pays attention to it. But with Trump, you know, running for president, she's got a she's on the, uh, you know, uh, a, a, a nationwide audience now. Yeah. Once again. Let's just hope for one thing that Trump doesn't ask her to become vice president. Oh, he's not that stupid. Believe me. You know, I mean, he probably will offer her a position in the cabinet, but let's hope it's nothing too important, you know? Yeah. Like, uh... Probably, pr- probably a cabinet post that he doesn't really care that much about, you know? Send, send her to, uh... I don't know, the ambassador to, uh... Bali or something. No, no, no. You're thinking of an ambassadorship. Yeah, give her an I know, but I'm, I'm saying... I, 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 I'm talking about an actual, you know, secretary's position, you know? Yeah. Like being in this cabinet. I know what you're saying, but I'm saying, no, just send her away somewhere. No. <laughs> Look... I don't, you know, uh, one or two more speeches like the one that she gave last week, and uh, I don't think we have to worry too much about her. You know, Trump will uh, keep her on a tight leash, unlike John McCain, who really couldn't control her. Well, you I, know? like I said, I, it's, I, from what I heard, he only wants to keep her through. Uh, he only needs her for Ohio. After that, he doesn't, she could uh, blow away. He doesn't care. He well, was, you know, he'll, 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 you know, bring her out, you know, he'll, uh, when, when he's, uh, when there's a, uh, when there's, um, you know, a campaign to be run in a Southern evangelical state, he'll bring her out again, you know? Yeah, I guess. Oh, by the way, Mark, we never gave anybody a phone number. It's 516-336-8510. And That's correct. Is that correct? Yes, and, that is. Yes, that and, is. And I forgot to uh, start up the chat rooms, so we will start up the chat rooms. Maybe somebody will get in the chat room and uh, let us know how our quality of our voices are since... You're not hearing me. Well, that listen, well. I, I, I'm, I'm going to hang up my cell phone. I'm going to try the regular house phone for a while and see if that's a little better. All right. Okay. If, uh, if, the, if the house phone is going to be the same as the cell phone, then I'll call you back on the cell phone so I don't tie up the house phone. All you know? Right. All, all right. Go ahead. Just give me a few minutes. Okay. Not a problem. Bye-bye. All okay. right. That's Dr. Mark signing off for a minute and... Uh... He's going to be calling us back in a couple of minutes, I guess. In the meanwhile, if, any, if uh, anybody uh, in the chat room is uh, listening to us, and let us know what the quality of the show is like, because we did have some technical technical difficulties in the beginning. I'm hoping that they're all in, uh, been corrected. Everything is fine. Who knows? Uh... We're going to go ahead and uh, talk a little bit about Bloomberg, the mayor, ex-mayor of New York. What do you think about him? Another Jew from New York? Bernie is a Jew from New York. Now we got Bloomberg might run. Do you think uh, the question used to be, can a, can a Catholic be elected as president? And that already has happened. And 
can a black be elected? That has that already has, already has happened also. Now, Andre, can you think a Jew could be elected to a presidency of the United States or woman? You know, the woman looks like is uh, closer right now than a, than a Jew, but who knows? You know, the nation is changing. Our uh, tolerances we're getting more tolerant with different people, and uh, who knows what will happen? I am gonna go and uh, just put on another song. For the heck of it, let's go put something on, and uh, this is going to be from iPluggers. The name of the song is Broken Heart. Actually, I played Broken Heart. I'm going to play... The song is called uh, Disco Flight. The singer is, uh, I think you've heard it before, his name is... Enusa Dauda from Germany, and he happens to I happen to like his style of music. So let's go hear Disco Flight. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, on the Disco Flight number 606. On this flight, there's no need to fasten your seatbelts Because you are welcome to bed It's good time, feeling fine, never feeling alright It is a Friday night Dance with friends up downtown in the night Until the morning light Dr. Mark. Yeah, it sounds like you're playing some more music already. Yeah, well, you know me. Can you hear it? Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's... It's uh, my favorite guy. It's what? It's my favorite guy, Inusa Dauda. From Germany. Right? Oh yeah, yeah, right. That's right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna cut him off. We'll continue the song later. How do you hear me now? Any better than before? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm sure it was the uh, cell connection. You know. Yeah. The uh, the house phone is much better. Yeah. Well, you know, they say. <coughs> you know, we always ask people to try to call from a landline if possible. But these days, that's sort of hard. Everybody using cells. There are a lot less people. Not every, well, not everybody has a landline anymore. Yeah. You know? Yeah. People, yeah. A lot of people use uh, cells now in lieu of the landlines. Well, they find it's an expense that they could do without, you know? Yeah. And also, yeah. also, I guess, well, the, you know, certain areas, you you know, you sound better. Certain areas, you sound worse when you're in a cell. True. And uh, around here, I think Verizon probably has the re- the best you know, uh, reception or uh, transmission, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, as far as the cell phone is concerned. Yeah. 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 I think so, anyway. <laughs> I, mean, I, I have Sprint, and it's not that great. Well, I have Verizon, and I have no complaints at all, you know, basically. And, I was just uh, uh, talking to the audience a couple of seconds ago, and I was saying, uh, what are the chances of a uh, person, a Jew, basically being elected to the presidency of the United States? Well, you can say the same thing uh, about Bloomberg if he exactly. ever gets that far, exactly. you know? Exactly, that's what I mean. you got Bloomberg, you got Bernie, both from New York originally. Uh, well, Bloomberg still, well, actually, Bloomberg, yeah, well, Bloomberg is still in New York. Yes, yeah, You know, both. Bernie Bernie is, of course, in up in Vermont, you know. But they're both you know, from New York, and Bernie, it's very obvious with Bernie's accent. 
Yeah, I know. As soon as you listen to him talk, I... you know, as soon as he starts speaking, and, uh, you know, he... <laughs> You could tell he was from Brooklyn because people in Brooklyn generally shout when they talk. That's yeah. how you. That's the normal way of talking when you're from Brooklyn, you know. The other things I was saying, then we broke other we broke other barriers. We elected a Catholic, which was always said would never be done. Well, that was such a long time ago. Nobody even thinks about that anymore. Yeah, I'm just you saying. The, just other barriers. The other barriers. The uh, a black was elected. So I guess the next barrier is either a woman or a Jew. Uh, very possibly, yes. You know, who knows? Or no, or or, or another, a businessman. Or a businessman from New York, a New Yorker. There's never, I don't think, there's ever been a New Yorker who's a president. I don't think so. Um. Yeah. Sure. Who's Who's from New York? FDR was from New York. Oh, okay. And if you go back far enough, I'm sure there were uh, other people maybe from, you know, uh, at the beginning, you know, from yeah. New York. But yeah. uh, FDR comes to mind right away, you know. New York, New York, or just New York State? I don't even know. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. You Cause, know. Because, you know, when we say New York, we mean New York, New York. Nope. It's like the rest of the state doesn't exist. Well, you know, it, it's also big. Well, and when people upstate talk about New York, they, uh, you know, if, if you uh, are ever up north at all, you know, there's uh, downstate, which is where we are. Then there's central New York, which is uh, like uh, Orange and, and Rockland County and, uh, you know, um, up around near Poughkeepsie, and then when you talk about the belt, you know, about, about the, the Northway, then you're talking about Albany and areas up north, you know, and then you, and then you have areas that, uh, you know, to Buffalo, Erie County, you know, so... Uh, well, New York State big is state. A, it's a big, very big state, and like I said, unfortunately, most people, when they hear New York, they think of New York City. Well, I mean, that, that certainly makes sense. You know, yeah. when uh, when Chad first started to call in, you know, um, we knew that he wasn't from uh, the, the, the city or the five boroughs or even anywhere up toward the central New York. He's, uh, you know, Rochester area. Yeah. Well, I remember I used to go to, I went to Watertown for six years with the National Guards. Oh, five, sure, you know, that's... five uh, years anyway. That's a long drive. Godforsaken place, boy. Yeah. It, it used to be much more popular than it is now. Now it's basically the only time really that uh, it sees uh, any, any kind of troop movement at all is uh, from late spring through the summer when uh, the National Guard units are doing their two weeks active time. Well, yeah, that's, know. that's when I was there. No, I, I understand that. But there was a time when, you know, uh, Cam Drum was much more active. Now it's practically in semi-retirement, you know. Uh, I don't know. They changed, the, they changed the name to Fort Drum, so I'm not sure about that. It was It was upgraded to a fort. Well, I don't know how dead it is, you know, because, you know, camp means, you know, is this, is designates a small army facility. Now, once you get upgraded to a fort, it means you have more year-round people there, and it's a bigger place. You know. <laughs> so I, I honestly know. can't say because I don't know. Uh, all I know is upgraded to a fort. Which means it has two people there year on instead of one, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, they have a quartermaster. <laughs> yeah. And uh, they don't even have a cook. They send out for food. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know how big it is, but I know they they had some regular troops put in there, which made it a fort anyway. All right, so let's uh, talk about uh, the weather. Uh, 
Uh, well, why don't you tell everybody how you fared?